In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a chatbot to your site. For example, I'm going to go to the shop page and you'll see that the chatbot opens. It says, do you want to know the secret that will let you save on this order? Sure, I say. And the chatbot says that they offer a free shipping. We're going to add another chatbot. This is for terms and conditions page. If I open it up, automatically chatbot asks what is it I would like to talk about. I'm going to talk about tracking, chatbot answers, start over, let's talk about returning, works like a charm. Now I'm going to go to the furniture site and another offer opens up, I can order it, it will be added to my cart, awesome. Or I can go to the cart page and there's another chat box, I can add my email. It asks whether I would like to get a newsletter and there's a coupon provided for me. Now you probably think that, uh, well, it's going to be difficult to set up. Actually, no, it's going to take only a couple of minutes. So if you're interested, then jump in. Now, in order to accomplish all that, I need to sign up to the service called TDO, the one you see on the screen right now. So what's a TDO? It's a simple, affordable and very capable customer relationship management tool. It offers you a combination of a live chat and chatbots. Basically, it's a solution for those people who want a straightforward way to engage with the customers on a website or maybe even a social network in order to increase sales, collect leads and deliver excellent customer service. If we open up the pricing, you'll see that you can start for free. It has a free plan. No credit card details required. And you can use it for unlimited time before you decide whether to upgrade to a plan that makes more sense for you. So basically, you can mix match, upgrade or downgrade or change your plans at any time. If you take a look at the premium plans, take a look at the comparison table here and you'll see what is what. Now, these are the official pricing plans. But if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a link. And if you're using this link, then you'll get TDO for 20% off for all the premium plans. But pay attention that this special offer will only be applied when you purchase a plan using my link. So nice discount for you. I have been using TDO for a couple of weeks now and I'm really pleased with it because it's easy to set up and easy to use and also they have an amazing customer support. And since good customer support is really important for me, I tested it a bit. That means I sent them a couple of questions and received answers within a couple of hours. So that's good. Okay, so let's get started. That means let's create an account here. If you have more than one site, then don't worry, later you can add them also. Let's get started. First, you can configure a live chat appearance. If you don't want to do that, then you can do it later. You can select your language. If you don't see your own language here, don't worry, you can add it also later. Let's continue. What's your main focus? Choose the one you like. I'm going to choose all four. Number of support agents, for me it's one, for you it may be more. Industry, services, number of inquiries, I'm going to choose something. If you would like to set up your first chatbot, you can do it here. Choose the one you like the most, I'm going to select the first one here. Now you can choose how to connect your WordPress site, whether to use a code here, but if you're using WordPress, then choose the one here and click on continue. Once again, choose WordPress. And now I'm going to log into my site. I'm going to go to the plugins, add new. Search for TDO, this one here. As you see, more than 100,000 active installations and five-star reviews. Once again, it's an awesome plugin. Let's install it, activate it. Now let's go to the TDO chat here. Already have an account, log in. And now log in using the credentials you used for creating your account. Log in. Select the project. If you have more than one project, then you can select those here. Maybe you have more than one site, then all those sites are appearing here and you just select the integration. Since I'm using WooCommerce on this site, I'm going to also integrate WooCommerce. Approve. And done. Now we open up my site, 
you'll see that chatbot is here, live chat also here, and I can start chatting. I'm going to introduce myself, send, and done. Now, if I go to my TDO panel, open up the chat, unassigned, then it's here. And I'm going to join the conversation. Easy peasy. Now, in order to keep this tutorial short, I'm not going to go over all the settings you have here. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video, because I have made a separate video about the settings and the most important stuff you have here. So instead, we're going to go and create this chatbot, open up chatbot's menu here, and here you'll see a bunch of options here. And if you scroll down, you'll see also a bunch of ready-made templates for you. You can browse templates by the type, for example, if you would like to increase sales, you can filter them out. There is a card booster, post-purchase discount, upselling bot for free shipping, and so on. Select the template, for example, upselling bot, free shipping. There is a test it out button, press on it, and you'll see how does it work. If the visitor arrives on your site, there is a text. What happens if no? Nothing happens. What happens if you press sure? There is explanation that free shipping will be offered. So, let's use this template. And now you'll see the canvas here. This is a trigger. There is, this is an action. And you can set up the conditions. Those are also here. If you would like to add triggers, then press on it. And you'll see there are 18 triggers you can use. At the moment, it happens only if the product is added to the cart. Let's change it. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to drag it here. I would like to display this only if someone visits my shop page. So, exact address, I'm going to add it here. Trigger limitation, I'm going to display it only once per 24 hours, but I can only display it once for unique visitor or unlimited time. I'm going to display it only once per 24 hours. Now I'm going to drag from here to here, that means those are connected. Next I'm going to drag another trigger here. I can use multiple triggers, drag it here. And now address contains not only the shop page, but all the product pages. So I'm going to grab this part of the URL, paste it here. If address contains this part, display the chatbot. I'm going to open up categories and I'm going to show it also on the category pages. Once again, I'm going to drag it here, connect it, contain URL product category. Next, I'm going to open up the decision page. I can customize it as I like. For example, add text, change the image if needed, add buttons, add URLs to the buttons, and so on. So, what happens? If visitor comes to on this URL, pop-up is shown. If the visitor shows no, this happens. That means chat message is displayed. If yes is selected, I can add the text here, and so on. I can add as many actions as I like. So, let's save it and activate it. Let's refresh the page. And it works. Let's go to the shop page. Works also here. And here. But if I go to another pages, it doesn't show up. Easy, isn't it? And this way you can create as many chatbots as you like using templates. And I like the templating system a lot. If you don't like the templates, then you can add the chatbot from the scratch. For example, this one here. Choose the trigger. For example, if visitor clicks on the chat icon, what happens? Let's add a decision here. What is a decision? Let's ask, what is it you're looking for? Now let's add a button name, shipping. Another button, tracking. Done. And now you can add other actions and, and conditions here and customize the chatbot as you like. But I'm pretty sure that most basic scenarios are already covered. For example, let's open up this FAQ for a store. As you see, shipping tra tracking is here. 
let's use it. So what happens? Visitor clicks on chat icon, it's a trigger, chat status here. Next, let's customize answers here if needed. So what happens? Start over, this is played. If shipping is chosen, this is this text is displayed for tracking this one, returns this one, ask questions this one, and done. Just customize it as you like. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this one here. I don't want to display this on every site. I would like to display it only on the sample page here. Add the URL, exact address. I'm gonna add another one here. And this is operator starts the chatbot. I'm gonna drag this one here and this one here. In a minute I'm gonna show you what the operator starts the chatbot allows me to do. But at the moment I'm gonna save and activate. And as you saw, since I didn't add a button name for this trigger, it says that it can't be empty. So I'm gonna add this one here, save and activate. Let's refresh the page. And voila, it's here. Let's start this one. Awesome. Start over. Returning. Awesome. If I go to another page, for example, this one, then the chat box is open, but nothing else is here. Now under the inbox, you'll see all the chats that are open. Also, you can see it here. And if you go to the visitors, you'll see how many visitors are on the site. Let's start the chat here. Now I'm gonna go here, unassigned, join conversation. And now as you see, there is a chatbot icon here. I can click it and you'll see this is the chatbot we created, terms and conditions site. If I click on it here, then you'll see that automatically this chatbot is added to the conversation. I don't have to ask all the frequently asked questions. User can speak with a chatbot and if start over or ask something, then once again, I can take over. So as you saw, it's an awesome tool with a lots of features. If you need a ready to go chatbot template or need to create a chatbot from scratch, then TDO is for you. And what else is awesome about it is that is unlike similar tools, TDO enables you to engage your customers proactively. You can see all the visitors that are active on your site and if needed, you can reach out to them with the right message. There are much, much more to it. I scratch only the service here because there are a lot of things you can do with it. You can even see the analytics, conversations, and so far and so forth. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.